Welcome to my latest case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. To start, choose junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Gameplay Overview. Okay, as always, your mission is to... When you're in the center of a room, you can turn around in a circle to see the whole room. Move your cursor to the left or right edge of the screen and you'll automatically move in that direction. A forward arrow allows you to advance in the direction you want to go. Likewise, a back arrow allows you to take a step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out my suitcase. I always carry my magnifying glass with me to scan for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm on to something. Move your mouse until the magnifying glass turns red. Then click to zoom in. When you want to go back to where you came from or turn around, find where your cursor turns into an arrow at the bottom of the screen and click. Try it! When the magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. Now, turn to the right, step over to the table beside the bed, and take a look at the alarm clock there. In this game, you can control what time it is simply by setting this clock. Just click on the alarm button, adjust the time with the up and down arrows, click on set, and there you go. Now roll your cursor over the key that's on the table. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand? Good work! You're a natural! You just picked up the key and added it to your toolbox. To see what's in your toolbox, just click on the tool icon at the bottom of the screen which will light up whenever you've added something new. When the hand tab is active, you'll see the objects that you can use to manipulate other objects. Find the key in your toolbox and click on it. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase and you'll see how good I've gotten at packing. To return an object to your toolbox, just click on the tool icon, then click on the open toolbox and the object will go back into storage. You can close the toolbox by clicking on the square in the upper right hand corner. And if you need to call someone, all you have to do is click on the cell phone at the bottom of the screen. Try it! You can use this phone to dial a number yourself or you can automatically dial any of the numbers stored in the directory. You can also receive emails and browse the web. For more information, just click on the phone's help button. Close the phone by clicking on the square in the upper right hand corner. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. Bye, Hannah. You can also receive emails and browse the web. For more information, just click on the phone's help button. Close the phone by clicking on the square in the upper right-hand corner. Another thing, 
The phone icon in the taskbar will light up whenever you have it. The notepad at the bottom of the screen is where I keep reminders. If the book tab is active, you'll see my journal. If you click on the clipboard with a check, is that everything? In the game, you can talk to the people you meet. The conversation will appear below the scene. The words of the person you're talking to will be in blue, and my replies will be in white. Select a question or a reply by give it a try. Excuse me, miss, but I couldn't help but notice that you're doing an awful lot of snooping around. Who, me? Oh, no, I wasn't snooping. I was just looking for a dictionary. I keep forgetting how to spell perpetrator. If there are a lot of words in the text box, you know how some people can talk. Use the scroll. If you make a major mistake, say you fall off or that's it. I'll return you to the menu screen where you can start the game. Junior Detective is not quite as tough as... Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Dear Ned. the senior level, so you might want to start there. And to make sure the world you're about to enter looks as good as it can, adjust the brightness by choosing Game Options, then sliding Gamma Adjust to the left or right. You never know what you'll turn up in the game, so be sure to explore. Don't forget to trust your instincts and have fun. Good luck. Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. No, I'm I take it you and Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night, especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, Nancy.
What's going on? Let's just say that so far your call is the high point of my day. So how's Blackmore Manor? A little on the spooky side. And what has Detective Drew discovered so far? Just calling to say hi. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Hannah. Bye, Hannah. Tripod? For a camera, maybe? She's probably sleeping.
This must be Mrs. Drake's room. <laughs> what? Mrs. Drake, is that you? Mrs. Drake, are you in there? <laughs> Mrs. Drake! Ah! Oops. I didn't arrange for you to visit Blackmore Manor so you could spend your time scaring the wits out of elderly women. But I really had no idea Mrs. Drake would react like that. I mean, all I did was knock on her door. It was the dead of night. What on earth were you expecting? For her to get up and have tea with you? I'm sorry, Mrs. Petrov. I guess I wasn't thinking. Well, unfortunately, what's done is done, and there's nothing more to be said. Well, there's one more thing. I'm fired. Bingo. Mrs. Drake, is that you? <laughs> oh, it's just a parrot. Scared ya! <laughs> Now go to your room. Go to my room? Everyone's sleeping. Go to your room and set your clock. What time do most people get up around here? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Set your clock for 6 a.m. Ah, sweet dreams. Say goodnight, Gracie. I need the key. I need the key. I need the key. I need the key. Felicity, the door, the door. Who's the pretty bird in the mirror? Wonder what happened in there. I can't leave Blackmore yet.
I wonder who Alan is. Looks like John Penn.